る」The race may not always be to the swift, nor the battle to the strong. In this war, nothing is constant, and all can change as quickly as the wind. Leading the vanguard against the Northern Pact, SPQR fired the first shot in a horrific battle against the Flamefell Mine Layer Squadron of the Cake Watch fleet. They met violently amidst the ruins of the desert, and while Cake Watch triumphed for a time, vengeance with the Coalition as SPQR valiantly repelled packed forces, securing a major staging area for the Coalition. But wars are not always fought on one front, and this war is no different. Seeking to capitalize on the weakened Coalition flanks, the Storm Riders advanced on Fernfeld to strike targets deep within Coalition airspace. Meeting them were the combined home defense fleets of Wings of Daedalus and Clan Clan. Joined as well by mercenary fleets, they fought hard to repel the invaders, but were unfortunately decimated, allowing the pact an opening into coalition lands. In an attempt to reinforce and reorganize the advance fleets, the pact sent one of their veteran generals to the front. However, like the snakes they are, the elite coalition strike force known as Hydra slithered past during the chaos in the desert and set up an ambush in the canyons. Packed forces led by the Dragontown Bombers, the second squadron from Cakewash, engaged in a tense battle against Hydra within the canyons. Unfortunately for the Pact, the vessel carrying the general was shot down. No survivors have been found, and this loss will surely be felt by both those fighting and those at home cheering on Pact forces. While the day seemed to be leaning steadily in coalition favor, the winds changed once again over the dunes. Leading a supply convoy for packed forces, the guild merchants of Green Sun Trading Co. seize upon an opportunity they cannot pass up, as a prominent baron is being escorted to the front by Crimson Sky Menace forces. Because they were merchants and not warriors, the Green Sun found themselves outnumbered. Thankfully, a Yeshin captain on the way to self-exile following his defeat at the hands of SPQR was in the area. Knowing a Yeshin could not turn down a chance to redeem his honor, Green Sun quickly recruited him to even the odds. The two, along with a few mercenaries, successfully ambushed the Sky Menace fleet. Their ships struck hard and fast, sending the barren ship to a sandy grave below. But while the Crimson Sky Menace were able to fight off the Green Sun forces in the end, there is no changing the fact that their baron has been lost. While blows have been traded and the Coalition edged out the packed forces this time, the war is still young and vengeance desired. Who will get their retribution in the battles to come? Only time and chance will tell. <laughs>